athletic director talking one on one with WJCL 22 because of fights at high school football games. WJCL 22 News is AJ Sisson speaking with John Sanders about the players and the fans' safety at all their events. We want our, our kids to know, not only our athletes, but all our spectators, to know that when they come to an event, there are certain expectations. Over the last month of high school football, two fights have broken out, involving two different Savannah Chatham County schools, raising questions about sportsmanship. Where does the conversation start for the players themselves? Well, it should start immediately, right when, right when the season starts, right when practice starts just talking about sportsmanship and how they are supposed to act. John Sanders, the district's athletic director for Savannah Chatham County, says the season starts with a coach's clinic, teaching them and students on and off the field about respect. Not only for our kids, but for our fans, you know, how they're supposed to act, what we expect, and if, if they don't act properly, then we're going to ask them to leave. The two fights caused the games they happened at to end early resulting in discipline for two Savannah High students from last Friday's game. Two kids have been put off the team permanently. Um, they're taking it very seriously. Starting this week at all Savannah Chatham County Public School sporting events, the district will require a different method for students and teenagers to get into the game, requiring a state issued photo ID. The ID must have your photo and a date of birth as all students under 15 years old must be accompanied by an adult. We were discussing that since last spring um, and we were kind of going back and forth, should we do it, you know, and then I think that caused us to actually pull the trigger on it. The district is confident that this increases safety. Are you ensuring the safety of both fans and players at every single event? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. I feel, I feel confident that folks, when they come to our venues, that they feel safe. Um, I, would, I would let my, my wife, my grandchild to come to any event because of the security measures we have in place, and I feel that they'll be safe at our events. In Savannah, A.J. Sisson, WJCL 22 News. A.J., thank you. Uh, after those incidents, the Georgia High School Association responded to the fight last Friday in a statement. Uh, it reads in part, both schools were extremely cooperative during the investigation from Friday night's incident. Uh, Savannah and Bryan County High Schools were both given fines due to several players being ejected and players leaving the sideline area.